I'm hitting hard today. I'm hitting hard. I don't have on any makeup, but I do have on eyeliner, so that is makeup, right? So I got on eyeliner, right? Um, I'm hitting hard. You might not want to watch this video, but I need to look at, um, hear what the ancient said, what you need to let go of to get rid of and i do feel like some people who are into some egos and to some addictions and i'm gonna pick that up i'm feeling that you can feel my attitude it's coming through i'm gonna be a conduit because i feel like there's a lot of good men and good women who came into people's life to help them elevate them and they threw them away and i'm not talking about uh, elevation of money or looks or something like that i'm talking about elevation of the spirit spirit to feed your soul to help you get um, more awakening to get that third eye open so you can build character right so you can be consistent empathetic compassion be able to deal with your addictions be able to make a better choices so all right so let's see what you need to get rid of for people who chose power one for people who chose power one what you indulges why am i hearing indulges there you go thoughts conflict chaos oh shit confusion pity party defeat um this would be like the five of swords uh um confusions challenges oh woe is me um negative thoughts <sighs> um this is swords they want you to get rid of it because it's like you're your own worst enemy you could be drinking and um you could be, you know how people do things to indulge. You could be overly sexed or you could be very obnoxious or just the five of swords. I mean, this could be anything. You could be wanting to argue, wanting to be temperamental, wanting to be confrontational, you know, wanting to be ugly, you know, targeting somebody, overlooking somebody. This is, this is it, you know? What you need to get rid of is self-doubt, fear, being scared, um, being um, combative, um, you know, um, thinking negatives, thinking, thinking, confusion, chaos. Maybe you need to get rid of toxic places and things. Maybe you need a whole revamp of your mental. You know, maybe you need to get some therapy. What you need to get rid of is that negative, low vibrational energy. Fighting on good in the five of swords, right? Maybe you're manipulative, um, strategic. Um, maybe you have some narcissistic tendencies. So what you need to get rid of is that whole woman, that whole man, and become a whole new creature. The Bible talks about a robate mind or cardinal mind so basically dealing with the flesh the flesh like you got maybe you need to operate more in your spiritual right and your intuitive and in, in, other than what looks good the pleasures the pleasures of your senses right or or materialism this is what you need to get rid of this is what you need to get rid of that's a big deal what you need to get that defeatist attitude that competitive um to the point that you you don't care that competitive spirit where you Cause I'm not, I'm, I'm not dream killers. I raised three winners, right? So when you be picking your partners, cause the Bible talks about a bad fruit can't produce um good fruit. So when you be picking your husbands and your wives and your boyfriends and girlfriends, and you be out there lusting, you better look at their kids and their grown kids and how they act. You better look at people's character and characteristics, cause everything in about looks and fat asses, right? Everything in about immediate satisfaction of pleasure, right? Because once you hit that climax and you get into the real world, then you got to step into the real world. I don't know why I feel like I gotta tell you to um tell you um tell y'all that maybe you need to get around high vibrational people maybe it's time to take your scissors out i keep my scissors on me i cut i had my scissors on me last night right i'm like oh no 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 you're too high vibration you're too a good woman you're too caring you're too loving to be subjected to some bullshit some low down low vibrational bullshit especially when you're a good person you can see the the uh, the um the energy of a good person right i told you i'm gonna give it to you raw right this is my reading y'all you know you can exit but thank you right because there's grown people who still act like they're immature they like 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 and they don't want to get it they don't want to grow up five of swords learn the card this is what you need to get rid of thinking thinking we can do all these with these little um cards what you need to get rid of i told you i'm giving it to you raw and blunt you have a lot of defeatist attitude. You're, oh, you're so competitive to the point where you become op, um, oppositional and opportunist and you step over other people. That's not good because then you're burning bridges. You're burning bridges, being temperamental, being angry, being upset, looking for something, thinking, thinking. You know what I'm saying? You can build bridges. You can have a co cohesive um, um, team and friends and family. You don't have to always be me, me, me. Pass the mic share the mic it's not always about you so what you need to get 
get rid of selfishness, self-centeredness. Sorry, one. Sorry, because one, that's how I'm coming, right? We got 8 billion people on the planet. People talk about how relationships are declining in a big percentage. Big percentage of divorces, how friends are really friend enemies. Somebody, somebody playing a part in it, right? I wouldn't be a real seer if I didn't see. Now, I'm not saying it's you. It could be people around you that I'm picking up. And if it's you, then at least you, you're alive to be able to change it, right? Not masquerade it. Not put on personas. Not pretend. Not the highs and lows of the, in the feelings and the ups and downs. To really be the change agent of, of the man or woman that you know you can be. Because this is what we're talking about. What you need to get rid of. I don't know what you thought. I don't know what you thought this reading was about. It's about what you need to get rid of. Maybe you need to get rid of Geechee Seer and go find your tarot reader. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm a conduit. I hear them talking. They say this is because you're breaking hearts and you're, you're losing friends and family and, and relationships, relationships with your kids or whatever, because you're operating out of this five of swords that came first. I want y'all to look that up. So what you need to get rid of, um, and them thoughts, your thoughts, they're not healthy. Make them healthy. Watch what you entertain. Watch your sexual energy exchanges and shit. What you need to get rid of traveling and travel I feel a lot of fuck boy and fuck girl energy I do I feel a lot of conquer conquest you know I can't tell grown people who to who to lay their pipe with. I can't tell grown people who to entertain and who to be with. All I know is I don't have to be a part of that, right? I don't have to be a part of that. I can only govern myself. But maybe you need to get things under control, right? You know, I was talking to somebody today and this lady said, and this is sad when you have a reputation like this. Oh yeah, out there like that. You didn't know? And I was like, dang, that's not a compliment, right? When you don't realize perfect strangers, because hearsay is a bunch of hearsay, right? Gossip is gossip. But you know, when you know this person has good character and they go out there like that, that's not good. So I think maybe a lot of things that you do, my right foot is burning to conquer and conquest. You think it's cute, but you're breaking hearts. People have feelings, you know what I'm saying? STDs come out of that, AIDS, um, you know, a lot of angry people, a lot of sexual energy exchange, a lot of flirtation that can lead to something else. You could be like me. I have daughters who are millennials. You could go somewhere and say, I'm in love with you. You're talking to, trying to talk to my daughter just to talk to my daughter. I'm not never talking to you again. You get what I'm saying? So you got, or you could be sleeping around with people who this is your half brother and your sister because your mom and daddy could have been rolling stones, right? So I'm gonna give it to you raw and uncut, right? You know what I mean? Or this man or woman who's came in your life or this in your life could be that gift for you and you blew it, right? You blew it because I feel like you have a lot of um, lust, a lot of temptation. We talked about the cardinal mind. And the robot mind, it's that flesh. You deal with that flesh. And so that's what you need to get rid of. I'm going to give you one more card. I'm going to kick this. What you need to get rid of on one. You can, Hey, it, it's, it is what it is. Somebody got to deliver the message. I'm a leader. I can handle it. I can handle it. It gave me one night to get over something. One night, my kids know sometime three. I got to sleep on it. I got to meditate on it. And I got to cry on it. And after that, I'm like up in the morning like, let's go. That's how I raise them. Let's go. Because we're living, we living in a world of wolves. Are you a wolf? Are you a wolf in sheep clothing? You don't want to be that. You don't want to be that one. What you need to let go of one. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know how all these piles are going to be. What you need to let go of? Let's give you a music card. What you need to let go Ooh. You could like to party to obsess. You could be very temperamental. Very angry. Maybe you keep it on the inside as men and women. What you need to let go of? What you need to let go of? I don't think I could do this in that calm spirit. Because I be trying to sugarcoat this. I'm not sugarcoating this. I'm going to get it to you raw. Because I feel like you got, you're hurting people. You could be hurting yourself. You could be masquerading hurting yourself. What does people on Tile 1 need to let, let go of? Is there a song? Signs of love making. There's... Um, Tyrese, these are the signs that are made for each. Are you are you a zodiac freak? I'm a Capricorn. I came here to get manish. Oh, I know it's good when you start speaking Spanish. Aries, sexually, you're full of energy. After I'm done, you still telling me you want me? Meta Gemini, oh, what a sex drive. 
She wanted it from the front, back, left, and right. Baby, I was guaranteed to give you everything your body missing. You could be a true player for real, ask Puff Daddy, or a playette, right? You could really... I said lust and temptation have a lot of different men and a lot of different women. I don't care about your sexual orientation, right? So that's what you need to get rid of. But I can't tell you what to do. You see that, right? Okay. So we're done with that. I've seen that. So that was my confirmation for that um, sexual piece, that lust, that flesh that I talked about. Yeah, yeah. You Maybe you don't never get enough. Never, like, I couldn't fall in love with a man or woman like you. Never get enough. Somebody else is going to look better. Somebody else is going to be fatter. Somebody going to have more money. Somebody going to be prettier. Somebody going to be this. Somebody maybe you not, not even like them really track. Some men don't even like them really track. They like them, you know, just looking rough and, you know, and or they like them this and they like them that. Some women don't like them like that. They like the rough necks and the hard necks, you know, and the, these kind of men. These are, so I don't know. So this is that pile. Like, you maybe like a variety, like a little bit of everything, right? I think you need to simplify your life and what you need to get rid of to know what you really want and in order to know what you really want you have to be your true authentic self you can't speak it it sound good words sound good we like to hear ourselves talk but you got to actually live it right you got to actually know what you really want because i'm here you're losing a lot of friends you're losing a lot of business um relationships you're losing family you're losing a lot of connections you're losing a lot of good people who were brought in your life to to give you some healing you're just discarding them and what's going to happen is it was you could be experiencing now you could be experiencing a lot of tower moments tower moments and shit is happening like oh, a lot of chaos five of swords look at that in the devil energy god dog Did I that? <laughs> yes the lust the possessiveness the jealous the the um the sex, the temptation, you know, the anger, you know what I mean? Or I got to have him or I got to have her or I'm mad or I'm angry. You know what I'm saying? You got to walk away from that. You got to walk away from all that toxic people, places and things that chaotic, chaotic, I can't say it, chaotic um, lifestyle, um, the chaos, the confusion. You need to move towards somewhere it's calm, it's peaceful, right? Some serenity. Maybe you need to go and see it's a single lady with her child. Maybe you could be a single father, single mother, right? Maybe you have a family. Maybe you look like you, maybe you're looking for a job or something like that. Maybe you're in a hostile environment. I don't know. But you're operating out this devil energy. Some might consider you the devil. Sim symbolism, right? Yeah, I don't think you like yourself. Maybe you pretend that you like yourself. You could be very, very handsome and beautiful women. But what you need to let go of is this um, materialistic, idealistic, um, pleasure-seeking, um, um, idealistic lifestyle. Right, even if it's in your mind, even if it's in your mind, you don't even go anywhere. You could, you could operate a lot of that, and you could just think a lot. You know, what I mean, I want this, I want that. I the line like, oh, he's not good enough. Oh, she's not good enough. Or I could just tramp on them. I could just tramp on them. And so you have to let go of that. Right, I could be here all day. I'm hearing angry. Oh my God, and she told me don't miss addictions, alcohol addictions, drug addictions, sex addictions, overeating addiction, whatever addiction, um, gossiping right um i'm hearing a lot with the devil what you need to let go a relationship that no longer serves you you could be in a marriage or some kind of relationship that you've been in for a while or maybe you promised somebody something or you're going to get engaged let it go let it go i just feel like you're not happy maybe somebody let you go and it and it hurt you maybe that was what they were supposed to do oh look at that you're supposed to move on you're supposed to be angry about it you're supposed to get up and you're supposed to move on you're on a higher destiny you have a higher call and look at that maybe you're angry because somebody left you you broke up somebody broke up with you or something like that or you know they unveiled some bullshit maybe y'all both unveiled some bullshit right the devil's in this relationship they're the devil the de it could have been some jealousy some insecurity some backbiting some um, um backstabbing some cheating some lying and some betrayal you know some off and on it could be more than one women different men different women like it's too many damn people in this relationship like if i had to pick a pile god knows i don't want to pick this pile this is too much chaos and confusion so what you need to let go is you need to simplify your life and get this chaos and confusion get the devil out your life anything else what you need to let go of oh i'm gonna give it to you you probably exited out but i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna conduit i'm positive that other people have told you that you could be selfish or self-centered or have some narcissistic tendencies 
or you a player or a player. You, you could be married in a relationship, you know, something. Somebody told stop drinking so much, stop, you know, doing so much drugs or so some, some much access or stop um, burning bridges. Somebody, somebody, if they didn't, somebody need to care enough to tell you, you know, I don't recognize you. You know, I, I, who is this lady? Who is this man? I don't recognize you. You need to get back to your real self. And what I feel like your real self is a beautiful spirit, a beautiful man or a woman. But I feel like you move so far away from your that person that you don't recognize yourself and i keep hearing burning bridges you're burning bridges all right what you need to let go of one i could have did five pounds on this god you want to call me <laughs> the temperaments remember i talked about the robate mind and the um and um i can't think um, then the cardinal mind, getting rid of that old self, get rid of him, get rid of her, and you need to get a new self. Remember, I talked about that, right? Dig on my confirmation. I, I, I Normally, I say I feel like I'm beating up on y'all, but I came with this energy this morning, right? I came with this energy this morning because the ancients is like, oh, no, 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 Terry, it's time, right? No, because they're sending people out. See, don't think in my mind that I think earthly. I'm thinking spiritual. They sent lights to you. Lights is going off. In this world of darkness, um, good men, good women trying to come into your life and be conducive and could put you on higher frequencies and higher levels so you can get into your more, that good character that you have and be more compassionate and empathetic and consistent and loving, not apathetic, not mean, not oppositional, not jealous, not insecure, not operating out of fear, not, you know, all lusty and everything. You got to get rid of that old man, that old woman, and you got to become this angel symbolism. This angel, whatever, whatever the a, sim, a symbolism of angel, being good and good character and loving and kind, and get rid of that old self. So that's what you need to get rid of. Boom, there it is. Anything else? I said I ain't doing no more in ten minutes. What you need to get rid of? I think because I'm looking at that, um, I'm looking at that other card. You could feel like you have all the time in the world to do what you have to do. Time is running. Um, winding down life is too short i feel like you took a lot of people for granted you owe somebody an apology and i feel like you feel like this man or woman gonna be waiting it could be your kids it could be a relationship it could be people that you're friends with families i don't know members or whatever somebody that came in your life you owe somebody an apology and you feel like they're gonna be waiting and they're not they're not this is talks about un uncertain unforeseen circumstances things that happen things that change i fight this man and woman people are pulling away from you because what you took you took them for granted and they're not having that what you need to um, let go of pow um one god dog you have a lot of passion a lot of creativity get back to what you know make it be let it be founded on good things don't you don't have to find found find it on um negative things and and and, and the devil symbolism what you need to let go of Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love, encouragement, and support. Same thing. <laughs> the lies, the deception, the false illusions, the deceit. Look at that. The secrets. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my. Because they, they're going to stick some swords. You could have met somebody online or you could have met somebody that you're in long distance with. What the heck? Y'all see my thing broke? You see my thing broke? I think I always buy stuff in twos. Look at that. And it broke. Look at that. Your life. Anything that happens in a reading, it goes, well, that's what people say, right? Your life is falling apart. Look at that. Your businesses, your jobs, your family, your friends. High vibration people are leaving. Look, it's falling apart. It's, it looked good. It looked good. It's, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. And instead of you taking the opportunity to change it, you're, you're, I'm just saying, I feel like you're getting worse. They're giving you an opportunity to move, get, move toward calmer waters. Deal with your past. Deal with your trauma. Um, you know, sometimes we don't want to feel, think about the trauma and uh, maybe the addictions and stuff and the lies that we tell ourselves. Move past the secrets. Own it. Consequences and repercussions. Go on your own intuition. You know when something's not right. You know, it's like somebody asked me, are you all right? This person, no, I wasn't all right. If you can sense that I'm not all right, then you know I'm not all right. And I smile and I go, everything is peachy king, 
right? But the intuition told you I wasn't all right, right? Y'all know I like to keep it real because I like to identify with men and women. And I have them calling me, not texting, on the phone going, thank you. You know, I got to keep it real. People, my right foot is burning. People know. And you know when you're wrong. You know when you're out of order. When you're not in alignment with what your destiny, your visions, and your dreams are. See, this is the power where you very creative, very ambitious, very nice looking men and women. And it goes to your head and you operate out of that ego, tistical. Everybody ain't going to be drawn to this power, right? And they want you to know that somebody can see. Maybe somebody passed on. Passed on. Maybe Jesus, all the, the spirit guys, the ancients, the ancestors. I don't know. Whatever you believe. You know, maybe a, a family member that passed on. They know that you're so much better than this and you're getting caught up in them with addictions and that lifestyle and stuff. Is there anything wrong with money? No. Is there anything wrong with somebody that you connect with and they could be attractive? That's fine. But not when it's the all in all. Not when you have a good man over here and a good woman and you're basing them by looks and how fat their ass is or how young and how somebody's old and how somebody's old and somebody's young or how materialistic they got or you know what I mean or I could just be mean to the good people and be this is the power you be mean to the good people and then you're nice to the um to the people who don't mean you shit right and that's why your life is falling apart now if I was in this reading I'd say good right I say good because people hurt people have feeling but they told me to stand down right because that, that was me channeling. They told me to stand down because they're going to show it to you in the cards. And that's exactly what they're doing. Right? Let me get your last card. You owe somebody an apology. If this person or people ain't blocked you yet, your life is falling apart. But you need to let go of. Swore the truth. And I need to mix these cards. What does pal um, one need to let go of? I'm putting it out there. I don't care. I, I only have 65 people, and I am thankful for all 65. But if I have to start over from scratch, what I'm doing now, it's okay. You know? Because sometimes maybe that's why I lost my channel, because I was picking up so many different energies. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to let go to start afresh. What you need to let go of? Sometimes what you think is a soulmate connection or a deep connection, a man and woman is a karmic. I'm going to tell you, I thought I was past that. Maybe I'm meeting karmas. Maybe I'm meeting men and women who say, this is what I don't want. This is, I don't want to feel those feelings again. I'll be, I'll be celibate February 9th, 11 years. I don't want to feel rejection and people with addictions and, and, and being overlooked. It don't matter how handsome or fine or educated you are, you can, you, people can still overlook you. That's not a good feeling. I don't know why I got to say this, say this to you guys because I feel like you're breaking hearts. You don't have to be in love. It could be with family and friends. What do you need to let go of, Power One? You can't take people for granted. You got to get rid of that old self. God, two of wands. The indecisiveness, the flip floppy energy, them signs and um, them signals that you get. One minute I love you, one minute I like you, one minute we going to get together, one minute we all going to do this in business, one minute we going to do this, are we going to work this out? But I ain't going to do this because I'm feeling mad. Today. You got to get rid of that. You got to be consistent. You got to stop operating out of doubt and fear and anger, right? Crossroads, choices, decisions. You need to be made soon. Yeah, yeah. You got so much indecisive. Yeah, we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And I see a vision for us and I see a purpose. And then tomorrow you come back. I'm in a bad mood. No, I want you out. I'm not talking to you. I'm not texting him or her back. I'm not calling. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to respond. You got to get rid of indecisiveness. You got to be consistent, right? Look at that. Two of swords is because it's pulling you, two of wands is pulling you two different directions. What you need to get rid of, because you got some decisions and choices. You have to crossroads in your life. You are at the card. It might read, it might even be for you. Ten of swords, God, dog, damn it. <laughs> And I may be wrong. And I may be wrong. You going to let me know? Y'all not going to let me know that. I may be wrong. But if this ain't the ten of swords, this is psychological, emotional, mental, spiritual, sexual abuse. Tendencies, betrayal, lies, cheating, illusions, deceit, you name it. Backstabbing. Maybe you backstab. Maybe people backstab you. You got to get your life back together. Your life is in chaos. Do I look good as a woman? Yeah. Do I look good as a man? Yeah. Am I driving the nice cars? Am I riding around? Got the nice homes? I got the men and women. Or I got my husband, my wife, my boyfriend. Shh, don't nobody care about that. This is spiritual. They're talking about your soul. They're talking about your spirit. They're talking about how you treat people. They're talking about your character. It's out of alignment. And they, they, you got an opportunity, an aha moment, if you will, is to get, let shit go. Let that shit go and get your shit back on the right path that you're supposed to be on. Look at that. Look at that. Let me get your last card. What you need to let go of? Ten of hazard. 
it looks good. Some of y'all got families and um, you know, you got families and you got, you know, maybe history together and this is what you say is wealth and you feel like your adversaries is manageable. I just kind of ignore it. You got prior commitments and stuff, but you also got um, zombies, you know, being your servants and your maids and everything look good and painted perfect picture. But how can we ignore that there's zombies here? So I feel like your life is not what you're saying it is. It's not. Whether you want a divorce, whether you fell out of love with somebody or whether you really hate the playboy lifestyle, maybe it's good or play girl life for, for a minute or maybe you're back and forth and up and down with baby mama baby dad is off of some boyfriend girlfriend relationship or you conquer and conquest you see her you want her you see him you want him see him in the gym you want them you see her over here you want him see him in the club you want him i've seen him at the store you want her him i don't know it just it looks good but it's not good and it's not healthy for you and the ancients want you to know the spirit guys, Jesus, Allah, the ancestors, whoever you believe wants you to know that your life, you're painting pretty pictures, but that's not the real story because there's zombies working in your home. So this is the power. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You could be up all night. You could be putting on personas. What, what do they need to let go of? What you need to let go of? Old um, attachments. Talks people places and things. Eight of Wands, you got you got the eight of wands like three times. Travel on the move, expansion, travel, good news come and take lead. They'll follow. Be more getting more into your leadership that you can. But you you bring a lot of people along that, that, that can't go with you. That's all I gotta say. Right. And I do feel like you owe somebody a, 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 a you know, maybe a phone call or something. Um, because it talks about communication or maybe they're going to communicate with you. I don't know. But you see how she see how the zombie, I feel like you, 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 you make a lot of relationships and they don't go anywhere, but people feel very, very attached to you. And then it's, it's an unexpected something that happened. Cause see how the zombies chase you like, I got to get the hell out of there, but you can't grow and you can't expand because you're still bringing those old, you see them old the zombies are still old attachment. But the good news is if you take lead, they'll follow. And in order to take lead, you have to take the scissors out. You have to cut out toxic places and things and behaviors and psychological things that no, that no longer serve you. Is that it? I'm gonna give you your last card. Hey, I got to put it out there. I got, oh, cringe worthy. I can't believe I said that, but I, I, this is my calling. This might be what I do for the rest of my life, right? I was born to see it. Maybe that's, that's my calling. Maybe I meet people to heal them and I put them on another level, right? Let's see. What, um, there you go. You need to do all of that because you have somebody who mutually loves you, mutually cares about you as a man or woman, mutually cares about you, right? Collaborate, communicate, compassion. There is people that you can go on business with that's going to give you that equal um, exchange that you so much desire, but you got to give it to them too. It takes two. There is somebody who really loves you for you, and you could be your true authentic self, but you got to give them the real you. You can't give them the representative, right? And we're going to leave it on the two of cups, right? I don't feel like this is a love reading because I feel like you got a lot. Uh, um, what's it called? Testicles, and you got your hands in a lot of cookie jars. Whether it's business, uh, businesses, or friends, or family, or you know, Mr. Mr. Side piece, a lot different. But I feel like at the end of the day, they want you to lead and take follow. And remember, there is somebody that can give you this real, true, mutual love. Right, this is a soulmate card, right? A twin flame, if you will, a deep connection, right? And be a good support to you as a man or woman. But only you can decide, because I feel like this is a power where you're at your crossroads. But the man or woman that's in your life or coming in your life, maybe somebody new or maybe somebody now, they're very whole, they're very healed. They can put you on a different higher awakening. They're very happy, go lucky, optimistic. My right foot is burning. They're very elevating type people. This is how you can tell this man or woman. They are on a journey of high vibrational frequency, right? The world, right? So you might want to learn the world, right? And um, and then I seen the death card. So everything that you're planning is it's dead. It's deaded, right? It might last for a minute, but it's dead. It's like you need a whole restructuring, a whole revamp, behavior modification. You know, go in there, change the way you're thinking, how you view relationships, who you want really in your life, right? And then this, this is the this is the uh, whoremonger card. A lot of y'all could be doing a lot of hoeing. <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm saying? You can, it's hard for you to sit still. You're restless. You're conquering. You're conquering. A lot of my LGBT can be in this uh, power. You can be so fi fixated on your looks and superficial things and things of the flesh, right? I'm gonna see what this one is. I didn't see that. Yes, and it's time for you to walk away. You gotta walk away from that. 
You got to go on your intuition because your intuition tell you, I don't need to be drinking and doing all these drugs and alcohol and I could get, you know, get diseases and stuff. I didn't say I didn't drink. I didn't say do drugs. I'm delivering a message. We're talking about in excess. Right, you know what I mean? Where it's gluttony, where it's you know, you're hurting people, you're hurting yourself. And we'll see what this one is because there's a wish fulfillment that you really want, and you can have, but you're just throwing it away, and it could be right there in your in your face with this one. Yeah, and Knights of Cups. And I feel like this is my favorite card. I feel like this is this is very fitting for this reading. You do you do what the fuck you want to do as men and women. You go in out there and you do whatever you want to do. Some of you are still doing it now, but at the end of the day, home is where the heart is. You're gonna go to, to this man or woman who you know that they love you for you, right? Because I feel like you could be very flirtatious or in fantasies, idealistic about relationships and love and you know, whatever commitment and relationships could be just with your friends and your family, but this could be this is a love card too. Too. And I feel like once you come down off of that, I got a big head or I'm operating my ego or my pride or it's all about me or fuck him, fuck her. Or, you know what I mean? I don't care about people's hearts, me, me, me and stop being selfish. Then you'll start waking up and you'll start learning your spiritual lessons. And once you start your eye, that third eye be open. See, my eye is open. I can't go back to sleep. And that's why it's better for me to deliver a message so you can hear so somebody can tell you because maybe you have um, yes people around you or they're scared to say something to you as a man or a woman for fear that you're not going to be with them. If you ain't gonna be, you're not gonna be with them anyway, right? Because you seem like you have temporary relationships anyway. Whether it's your baby mama, I, 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 I can say I'm positive it hasn't been. You've been faithful for the whole 7, 10, 15, 30, 1, 2, 3 days. It's been off and on. It's been cycling, right? Or, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Side Pieces or Conquer and Conquest or linking up or hitting and quitting or whatever. It hasn't been consistent, right? That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm hearing them say. So as long as it hasn't been consistent, once you start operating out this energy and you start learning your lessons, then you're going to be more in tune and then you're going to be on a higher frequency and you'll be able to see. And then you maybe you might wake up one day and go, I can't believe I had a good man and a good woman in my life and they wanted to see me elevate. They wanted my third eye open. They wanted me to be happy. They wanted me to feel illuminated. They wanted me to feel um, good about myself and have a solid foundation. For, and, and they gave me this nine of cups. But as long as you're in, and you have to walk away from that, right? From the, you know, all that gossip and, you know, and hurting people and people hurt you. This is hurt people, hurt people. People. But once you wake up, you'll be on your destiny. But it's for you to decide. And this could be past, present, or future. Somebody could be looking and go, that's the old me. I'm not that woman anymore. I'm not that man. Some of y'all could be going through it now.